friends, welcome back to the channel. My name's Sophie and this is Just Doing This Now and I'm gonna show you my garage gym. Going in my way. It's time. Finally, we finally got it done. Quite a few weeks of doing nothing on furlough for me. Ruth carried on working. I decided to put my time into something useful and turn our dream of a garage gym into reality. And this video is how we did it. So first things first, we needed to clear it of clutter. So Ruth and I bought a shed and we filled it with all the garden stuff and anything that could possibly go in there that wouldn't perish being in a shed. The rest we put up here in the apex, in the roof. It's really important to make sure the concrete floor is sealed you could absolutely just put your mats down, not a problem, but you would still have a lot of dust in the air. We had to sweep it all out. I think, I believe we got a hoover and we hoovered it all out. The dust was in the air. We had to wet the floor just to dampen down the dust. And that was before we applied the sealant. It's quite a messy job. So try and do it on a warm day, just so it dries quicker. Uh, the same will apply to the sealant, it will dry quicker and the same applies to the paint. Now at this point I will say, if you do want to keep your gym budget to a minimum, you don't actually need paint, you just need the sealant. So you could absolutely put any kind of flooring down without having to paint the floor. However, me being me, I wanted to paint the floor. So we went with this lovely grey and this is from Wilco's, Wilkinson's in the UK, and it was 18 pounds for the pot. It's never gonna be a perfect job, but I think in terms of for what we want it for, really happy with the finish. There are more expensive brands out there, but it just wasn't necessary for us. So all in all, so far, our flooring cost us 48 pounds. Then we go on to the mats. So these are our rubber mats. These are from a brand that I'll insert here, but they are available throughout the UK. And um, I have seen other CrossFitters with them on their Instagram pages. So they really are easy, easy to get hold of. Put the, the matting down throughout the whole of the garage. It just wasn't necessary in some parts, but because we can get hold of it, we'll probably buy some more at some point, won't we? Yeah. And with that, you can buy edging as well. So if you want to neating it up, that's fine. But for us, we knew we weren't going to like use it right up into the wall, so it didn't matter for us. All in all, just doing a running total, these mats cost around £150. But you can get horse door mats, just get them instead. It's a lot thicker than what we've got but we just use these for when we want to drop weights on the floor when we're doing stuff overhead. The other thing we found with these mats is that they were really greasy and slippery. So it was really important for us to ensure that they had better treads because you wouldn't want to be doing a jerk on this floor and then go flying with weights over your head. It's quite a health and safety risk. So we um, kept them outside to weather, but we also clean them with degreasers. But definitely think about weathering your mats. I know it sounds odd, but they were just ridiculously greasy when we purchased them. And yeah, I can't imagine it being any different for anyone else. It must be what they put on them when they make them. We do have a Concept 2 rower and it's been so handy. If you're like me and you don't particularly like running out in the cold wind and rain, this is great. Old Ikea mirrors, because who didn't own these when they were 18? It's also an Ikea mirror, but this is from an old wardrobe. So, and the wardrobe doors are up there, so that's quite handy. This is my Wolverson 15 kilo barbell that Ruth kindly bought for me one Valentine's Day, I recall. Thank you, Ruth. Uh, and it's been great to finally put it to good use because I've had it for about two years, but never had any weights and still don't. Our hours are on loan from the ball pen. Thank you, ball pen. Here we have our little screen to do handstand push-ups. With a bit more experience, probably should have put something flatter behind it so it didn't crack, but 
it does mean you don't scuff your favourite Metcons. So, and that was about £25, I think, from B&Q. You could get a smaller one to just fit the height um, of where your feet go. Uh, but if you're like me and you really put your ass onto the wall, then you want to keep your bum clean. Just got an old poster up here. My mum got this printed on my fifth and final London Marathon. Bless her. Um, when your legs get tired, run with your heart. It was meant to say, don't trust that fart. But my brother-in-law forgot what my mum wanted to have on there. These were on loan from the ball pen. So it just means we can drop the weights and not worry too much about the floor. And of course we've got rocket power. And I will attach those to uh, a weight vest when I get one or a bag when I get one. In the meantime, they're decorating the gym. And we've got our lovely medals. Before doing CrossFit and functional fitness, Ruth and I used to cycle a lot. We both had road, road bikes. Um, I sold mine because mine was a terrible fit. Anyway, we used to run and cycle and this is Ruth's side and mine's on the other. Well, you can't call yourself a garage gym if you don't have a clock. And we got this one from Amazon. Um, I can't remember the price, I'll insert it here, but it's great for the site. We don't need anything bigger, we don't need anything louder. It's just brilliant and having the timer just really adds that little bit of motivation I need when I'm training from home. Obviously, we've got some nice cute LEDs here. Um, £1.50 from the range. Worth every penny if you ask me. What was really important for us was the lighting. So before we had a single bulb in here, but our electrical friends came and they installed two ship lights for us. It's really important just so you can see what you're doing, but also you need the good lighting for the uh, selfies and all the Instagram posts and videos you're gonna make. Here are my lean medals compared to Ruth. Um, obviously we've got my sign because you need to know who I am. It's a pride flag. This was literally about £2.30 off Amazon. Lovely, thank you Amazon. And also we needed a whiteboard. Um, this was literally about £18 off Amazon. Um, we did get a bit of a discount because it's got a bit of a dent in it, but you know, it doesn't matter. But we thought we'd fill it with some photos because it's not really filled with PBs yet. But we will get there. We've got a lush knot wrap up there. I absolutely love that design. And one thing I've realised with your garage gym is if there's things that you don't want to get rid of that you really like but might seem a bit too tacky for your house, then, you know, your gym is the place to put them. Because, you know, why not, Ruth? Why not? Uh, and we've just got, again, got another patch here that I need a bag for. Um, yes, here's some like badges again, badges, magnets of the places we've been. So as much as we love this brick, we decided to paint the garage just to make it feel a bit bigger. The intention was to paint the whole garage white, but there's lots of little vent holes in these bricks and it was a pain in the arse. So Ruth and I decided just to focus on this back wall, but we think it looks great, doesn't it? I mean, it did take about 80 hours, but 80 hours well spent. Our lockdown workout wouldn't be the same, again, if the ball pen hadn't known just their plates. Um, like, I, I can't even imagine I can't even do the maths of how much this would cost if we'd have bought it. But as we know, it's really hard to get your hands on any kind of gym equipment at the moment. It was about six weeks into lockdown before I got hold of these. But 15 kilo dumbbells and they we got these from the gym, the gym company. I'll insert their link here. Um, really helpful. However, it was £105 including postage, which which hurt a lot when I know that I could buy these from Argos for £60. If only I got there quicker. But do you know what? No regrets. Working our way through, we've got all of our like bands and stuff, some towels. I've got my grips and stuff. Um, this is just an old IKEA coat stand. It was too good to throw away and it kind of 
fits well in the corner here with our freestanding pull up dip stand thing. Um, Ruth and I found this on Facebook Marketplace literally two years ago and it was 40 quid. I think now if you bought this new it would be literally 200 so we're very grateful for this and it just meant that we could get our strip work in and not lose that during lockdown. In order to save space, Ruth's bike usually sits along here as well. I um, highly recommend these um, bike hooks just so it's just out the way and yeah, your bike's gonna be safe. We have our shelving of, of crap. Uh, we've got our ab mat loaned from the bullpen but we'll probably get one of those ourselves at some stage. And then we've got our shoes here. And then we've got a few bit of Globo Gym bits. I've still yet to use my Olympic rings. I had the best intentions and these were for the Wolverson pull-up bar we have outside hanging off the garage wall. But one thing I'm really pleased with is our bio box. This was from a gym about 40 minutes away. They were obviously selling some old stuff and we managed to get this for £30. Tried and tested, it's great. The only thing we're missing is the little holes you can put your hands in to carry them. Yeah. I've got a few old kettlebells here, but my favourite is my 20 kilo kettlebell, which I won with Wolverson for my competition for my PB dance. really tough to get this. We decided to go with a bit heavier than the kind of prescribed RX weight just because we thought why not. <laughs> chalk, uh, we just bought the chalk from Amazon and then just bought this bucket, it was literally four pounds. Yeah. Any gym wouldn't be right without your own personal branding. And I do have more on the way. Foam rollers, I mean how big is this? This is ridiculous. Who needs a foam roller this big? You can get two on that. My other favourite bit of decor actually is my um, female lifted and flag. Again, that was off Amazon and it just kind of sets the tone. So there's still some bits that we want to buy for the gym. One of them being, a squat, I can't say, it's easy for some to say, I find this difficult, a squat rack stand. A squat rack. A squat rack, yes. Um, so we, we still want to buy a squat, a squat. <laughs> we still want to buy a squat, a squat rack. So that's all that's missing really from what we can do. And obviously when the bullpen have their stuff back, we'll need to buy some um, bumper plates. But we're really happy with our setup here. We can certainly get a sweat on and get a good workout in. So thanks for watching this video on my garage gym. If you want some more information on anything you've seen or heard in this video, comment below and I'll get back to you. In the meantime, stay safe and I'll see you in the next video. It's 2020 and what isn't powered by USB? He's like... Elvis, shut up. Mm -hmm.